Cells at Work is a 2018 anime TV series that adapts a successful and kind of strange manga by Akane Shimitsu. It dramatizes the workings of the human body by representing every cell as a human citizen in a massive city that represents a human body. The protagonist is a red blood cell, since in the real world they deliver oxygen to cells and carry back carbon dioxide, she's a package delivery girl in a red uniform. She often encounters a white blood cell that fights off infections and is thus a white uniformed assassin. That's the basic structure of the show. Thankfully, the mangaka decided to structure this fundamentally as a comedy. Red blood cell is constantly getting lost and attacked by rogue infections, and white blood cell is constantly saving her. Platelets are represented as cute, innocent, kindergarten-age children. The basic idea is dry enough that a comedy is the perfect genre for it. It should be noted that most episodes follow the same basic plot outline. Red blood cell gets lost, a disease attacks her, and white blood cell saves her. This can feel repetitive after a while, but later episodes do change that up, so hold on if you find that plot structure a bit dull. The anime staff also chose a bright, cheerful color scheme for the show, which does a great job of matching the comedic, goofy feel of the show. The characters really feel like they live in a big, vibrant city that, in which weird things can happen. Unfortunately, the anime does have some significant animation problems. The characters are often off-model from shot to shot, and the action sequences often look cheap cutting from still shot to still shot with little in the way of actual, you know, animation. In addition, the show often stops dead partway through, while, uh, while a narrator and on-screen text define a medical term, which really kills the, the momentum and feels like a cost-cutting measure, to be honest. In terms of voice acting, I listen to the Japanese dub, and there's not much to say. Red Blood Cell has cute vocal reactions when she freaks out, and the platelets sound cute. Otherwise, the voice work is okay, but unremarkable. The music consists mostly of peppy, upbeat orchestral pieces that wouldn't sound out of place in a shonen series, which is not surprising given the composer also wrote the music for ReZero. It's actually a really lovely soundtrack. All in all, despite the problems, I thoroughly enjoyed Cells at Work. It's an odd premise that is executed in a way that is entertaining, uh, while also giving you a little bit more than is absolutely necessary given what's been set up. It's also a perfect length for the show. This should not be 50 episodes. It gives you just enough of the characters and the situation and the, basic, uh, the various scenarios encountered by a human body um, without feeling like it's really, really doing the same thing over and over again. So... I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Not hugely deep, but I will have a video coming up with uh, some thoughts about where the show goes. But without getting to spoilers, those are my thoughts. Hope you found this useful.